Now we're using new technologies. We're using uh, the, the fragments of the messaging systems in the body that can kind of uh, provide a patient with the code about how to develop proteins that are on the surface of the virus. So we are not necessarily always injecting an entire uh, weakened virus, but just uh, fragments of the virus coding mechanism so that through those measures, we can elicit the immune response. The reasons why those are excited, those new methods are excited because they allow us uh, faster development of a vaccine and it provides its new venues for the vaccine. And what is really encouraging is that very many uh, vaccine manufacturers and uh, academic institutions are making a very rapid progress. So there is a reason for the optimism, but it has to be optimism uh, that is uh, associated with uh, academic rigor, scientific rigor and caution. But what we have been in a discussion with very many uh, producers of a vaccine, and not only the producers, but developers of the vaccine, helping them develop those vaccines. But uh, the scientific community and the large manufacturers uh, have done, which is also new, they have taken a forward approach about starting to produce a vaccine even before it is being ultimately tested and approved. The reason for that is that if, it, if the vaccine then shows the safety and efficacy, they will have already a batch of a vaccine ready for distribution.